Good morning guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be cleaning my stairs, going up house, stairs, stairs, um, the carpet, so the, uh, I don't know, stairs are never easy to clean for me, I hate doing them, they're just the hardest things to clean because they're almost where the, you're the roughest with your feet because you run up and down them, the carpet gets worn away quite easily, um, so yeah, I don't love cleaning them, but I've noticed a few like stains and a few like marks there and I thought I'd just try and refresh them a little. So I am going to be using my Vax Spot Wash, it's just behind me here. Um, I love this thing, we deep cleaned our sofa with it before we sold it and moved house. I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you want to watch it. Um, but the Bissell Crosswave doesn't do carpet. Um, it's great for the floors and airy rugs but it doesn't do carpet so it's fantastic, I love the Bissell but I need something to clean the stairs carpet. And because it's a small surface area, essentially, I thought the spot wash would do a perfect job. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna to show you a before, you know, show you a before of the stairs and how they're not grim. Like I still clean there, um, but I just wanna give them a bit of a refresh. So I'm gonna show you a before, I'll show you an after and see what you think. And yeah, so, we're just gonna get started. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any other major techniques for cleaning their stairs carpet or carpets in general, you know. So I am gonna try and get that done and see how it works, how it works out for me, I don't know. But I'm feeling positive, I'm feeling like it's gonna be good and that it'd just be nice to really refresh that carpet. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So let's just get started. So quick note, I've got my solution there that goes into the tank here. Um, I've got a dustpan and brush because this, um, if you don't know, if you live with any female with long hair, i.e. I am that person, um, I shed like a dog, like my hair's for some reason, it's super fine, but I've got a lot of it. Um, so I, find that hair for me gets really tangled up in the vacuums whenever I clean so I have to be really on it cleaning the vacuum um, but sometimes if you really want to get rid of stuff on the stairs use a brush. Um, wire ones work better but this is what I've got and it's been working for me so that's what I'm using. Um, so yeah we've got the Vax spot wash here if you've not used one before it is a fantastic tool use it on multiple surface mainly carpet and furniture um but yeah it's really good we love this thing um the solution and then the brush so i'll go over with the brush first try and get as much like loose um what do you like loose hairs loose fibers and stuff and dust and then i'll go in and clean with the thing also whoever it was i will try and find your name um said a great tip for using this is once you've used it with the cleaning solution to clean go back empty this and just put plain water in it and re-clean to pull off all the rest of the um the like solution and give it another clean so it's almost like you know like where the hairdressers ever tell you that need to you need to wash your hair twice once is to get um rid of something and then the other bit is to actually wash your hair one's to get rid of the dirt the other one's to wash your hair this is that the same thing the first time you do it is to get rid of the dirt the second time is to actually wash the area so that's what we're going to do we're going to go over it twice and see how we get, get on so thank you for that tip whoever that was i will try and remember your name at some point i apologize um so yeah that's what we're going to do let's get started so I started off by filling up the um, clean water tank. So there's some like markings on the vax if you don't have one. Um, there's for a small area, large area. I obviously was going with the large area and I just used the solution as well. Um, the only thing that with this is how it's positioned. So I had to kind of fill it up, pour a bit out, fill a bit more up. It was a little bit awkward, but we got there in the end. Or maybe I'm just not doing a great job at it. Maybe I've just not figured out how to do it mm, smoothly. I don't know. Either way, I filled that up. 
I appreciate that the the uh, vacuum actually looks a little dirty itself, so that's due for a clean. I clean this out obviously every time I've used it. Um, it does have a hose cleaning thing um, to clean the rubber hose kind of bit, um, just to flush through, which I appreciate from a vacuum's perspective, like a you know like a wet vacuum. Um, so yeah, I always use the hose thing and then clean out the dirty water tank and then the hose attachment um, afterwards just because, you know, I don't use it that often. So to leave it, it obviously get really smelly and dirty and horrible. So it's always good to wash out the vacuum after you're using it. The Bissell, I'm not always that great at, but I did give it a really good deep clean recently. So if you want to see me clean out my Bissell, I will leave a link to that video in the description because I finally got round to it. Um, I do clean it, but this was a deep clean. So this is the stairs before. They don't look filthy in any, you know, respect, but you can see like the, there's a stain there. Um, there's a couple of little things like that going up and down. Um, that you can see, and it was more just like you obviously when you go up a stairs, you kind of like rub your foot onto the stairs or. I mean, does that make sense? Like you don't put your foot, not many people put their foot down. You kind of glide and kind of like end up wearing the carpet away, um, in, mainly in the middle. So my aim was to kind of try and fluff the carpet back up a little. So, and obviously I just wanted to tackle the dust that was there and just kind of pull up anything that was kind of lurking obviously we don't sit and eat on the stairs so major crumbs is not an issue but you know there's stuff there is stuff there so yes it doesn't look filthy we are very lucky that these carpets were only like a couple of years old um this home we were in, we are in it was the show home uh the guy who bought it then didn't live in it long and then we bought it after him and that kind of thing so it's the overall the most use they've got is from us I decided to set the um, baby gate off just obviously to, because it sometimes swings shut, so to stop fighting with it and make it all easier and just took that off. Um, and then I went over with the brush. So my mum actually taught me this trick um, when I was a teenager because she used to, she had a house with three girls, all with long hair. Um, so you can imagine that she just, and we had dogs, so she used to find that if you have pets, um, using a tough brush on your carpets, whether it's stairs or even living room, you can pull up the pet hair really quickly. Um, so she, and it helps kind of like pull it from the fibres of your carpet instead of just sitting. It's okay if it's surface sat and you can vacuum it up, but if it's like being worn into the actual, um, fibers and stuff of the carpet and the weave of the carpet it's hard to pull up so using a brush helps dislodge them pull them up and kind of just get rid of them so this was my technique using this brush i do have a wire one in the garage but because it wasn't filthy filthy um i just used this little one that i've got here um i apologize for my um the shot here but you know you've gotta go with what you're doing here and um, so yeah I pulled the brush out just to help really gather off any little fibers and um threads and stuff like it doesn't help sometimes i sew or i crochet so sometimes there's like little threads and yarn pieces just like floating around the house um i try and collect them together as much as i can so i'm not leaving them everywhere but there's going to always be one that gets stuck to a sock and then that stock walks around the house and, you know. So the brush technique is fantastic if you have pets. I definitely recommend using it. I, it's probably one of the best hacks I know. I don't know if it's a hack, but, you know, cleaning technique. Um, just to be able to get, like, all the really, like, trodden in stuff loose. Um, it helps separate some of the fibres of the carpet. And, yeah, it just worked really well. So I was really pleased with um that kind of you know some things I still needed to pick out with my hands that I really want to get rid of that I knew maybe the carpet wouldn't get rid of so you know sometimes you just got to do what you got to do but overall I was pleased with the end of the kind of uh brush technique 
um, you can see the dust and bits. So not loads, but enough to warrant taking the brush to it, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that was that bit. I quickly swept those up because obviously I didn't want them to be getting trodden around the rest of the house. And then I got to work on the stairs. Um, it was a little bit difficult, not going to lie, trying to find a plug that was going to work out. Um, I had, it's funny because no plugs really near the stairs. Um, so I kind of had to manoeuvre things around a little. And we have a baby gate at the top as well. So that kind of put a little bit of a um, block, I suppose. It made it a little bit more difficult. Um, so yeah, I had to kind of, you can see the water coming in and look how cool that looks. Um, so yeah, I sprayed on first. I decided to spray all the water on first, trying to really dampen the carpet to, um, to really be able to soak in this, the soapy stuff. Um, and then I kind of like roughed it up a lot with the brush. Um, you'll see at some point that there's like clumps of hair and dust stuck to the bristles of the brush. It's disgusting, but great because it shows that it clearly worked. Um, and so, yeah, I kept moving down, would wet the stairs first, really rough it up. And then I'd go over it and kind of pull the water up and then I'd rough it up again just because I really wanted to... Um, I really wanted to fluff up the carpets and make them look really like brand spanky new. Uh, so yeah, um, I I think it worked. I'll let you s determine for yourself at the end whether you think it worked or not. It smelled nice anyway, so that's a bonus. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front Day 
So I'm on round two. I don't know if you saw, but when I changed the water over and everything, I refilled it. Um, the clean water tank came onto round two to kind of um, have another second clean. And I think it really helped pull up the rest of the dirt um, and just kind of pull anything else that might have been sitting that you'd not got the first time. So I really think that the second time definitely helps. Um so yeah, I was really pleased with the outcome of that. Um, and you can just see like, um, obviously this is on like double speed or whatever, but you see me really trying to um, push the brush around to try and get all the fibres moving, um, pulling up the water. I found, ugh, dirty, more dirty hair. Um, but I found like you have to do quite a bit of pressure sometimes pulling back for the water to be sucked up. Um, which kind of hurt my hand a little bit, but you know, the stairs are done, they look good and I'm pleased. So I worked on the edge as well, not just the actual stairs, but the edge, the front, obviously you don't really notice, you don't really get dirty. So I did have a bit of a clean, but I focused mainly on the pit, bit where your foot goes. That's the dirty water from the second time round. And then this is the final reveal. So it doesn't look majorly different because obviously they weren't major dirty in the first place. But I think you can definitely see where they've been cleaned, where they've kind of been, um, the carpet's been fluffed. I definitely think it looks a little bit fuller. It doesn't look as flat anymore and worn. Um, so that was something that was nice because at least that has revitalised the carpet, shall we say. Um, so yeah, this is the final result. What do you think? Do you think it looks any different? Do you think it's worked? Um, there's still some patches. I think you're just never going to be able to fully get it, but it was nice to be able to give it a bit of life back into the carpet. Um, so this is the attachment, obviously, that comes off. You put it in the little yellow hole area, um, and you push it in, and it cleans through the tube using the rest of the clean water. Um, you won't be able to see it all that well, but it does. It uses the rest of the clean water and it pulls through um, and cleans the tube so you don't get anything stuck. And then that I take off and clean separately. And yeah, so I was really pleased. It's a really good function having that because I think that's something that you'd really have to like deep take off the, um, you know, like properly take all the vacuum apart, which I don't even think you can do without... Um, causing damage to clean that kind of thing um so it's good that it's got that function i really feel like then it gives you longer life longevity with your vacuum which is fantastic um and yeah so i'm just folding everything up ready to go and take it to be washed um as you can see there's already some hair in the sink from the brush this is the dirty water after the second time around um disgusting i know so I got rid of that and then I just decided to give everything a quick clean um, in the sink. It wasn't terrible, thankfully. Um, I've had worse, a lot worse. Um, but yeah, you can see that the bristles on the brush really help pull up all the dust and um, hair pe pieces. So yeah, give that a quick rinse, get it all put back together and dry. And that goes just goes back in the storage. But I'm really pleased how easy this, like vacuum is to use and clean um it's fantastic and i definitely think it's helped using it on the stairs and i'm really pleased so just let me know what you think so that's it my quick and easy way to clean your stair carpet i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's been useful i definitely think the second time round really helped lift the remaining dirt as you can see um and yeah I, it was nice to be able to like kind of it sounds really odd but fluff up the carpet again Especially because on the stairs it gets really warm because you just kind of like hit the carpet at a certain angle. So yeah, it was really good to just kind of get that clean. It makes it feel really nice and fresh in the house. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you leave me a comment uh, about your favourite, you know, cleaning hack or whatever. Um, and make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel because I do plenty more like this. And I'll see you again soon.